morning, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back. Today, I'm gonna take you guys on a shower with me. Yeah, that sounds a little bit weird, fully aware. Don't worry, everyone's clothes are staying on. So a lot of people have asked me if showering has changed since amputation, and the answer is it's probably one of the things that has changed the most. It's the little things that you don't think about after a major life change like this that like are the things that just take a lot more energy than you expect them to. Now, I've kind of like adjusted by this point and figured it out, but there are a lot of minor modifications I've had to make, especially when it comes to safety in the shower, just because think about it, when you have two legs, you just get in the shower and you're good to go. But if you have one, how do you deal with the fact that everything gets soapy and slippery? I didn't have to think about that before now. And uh, when I went on vacation, I did not think this through and I was like, crap. I didn't even ask for like a handicapped hotel room or anything like that. And it was, it was bad news. It was, I had to get creative. We'll just leave it at that. So this is what a basic shower looks like. I kind of tried to avoid them as much as possible because they take a lot of energy. So lazy. Oh well, come shower with me. I want to take you through what it's like to get ready and take a shower as an amputee, at least as this amputee, because it is definitely different. I miss totally normal showers, but this is great too. Don't worry about it. See yourselves there? You look good. So let me take you through some of the equipment that we need. A shower chair is pretty much necessary. Is it, uh, you know, suave and, and, and cool? It's not. I feel like an old lady. I'm pretty sure shower chairs are mostly made for old ladies, but that's okay. Because I love old ladies. This is a weird video. But I hate sitting in it, so I'll show you what I do instead. But the reason that I need that is because I literally don't have a leg to stand on. And while I can hop around in daily life, trying to hop around or stand in the shower when everything is slick and wet and slippery and there's soap, just a, a good good recipe, a great recipe for falling down and like breaking my wrist or, or like popping my knee ligaments. We just want to avoid all of that. So one thing I always do is I make sure that everything is kind of within reach because when I get out of the shower, I can't really move anywhere very quickly. Also, I have this handy little gadget, which is just like a $30 Bed Bath & Beyond stool. I use it to like lean against or balance myself on sometimes if I'm trying to get around the bathroom because it's a pretty small bathroom, which is handy. Actually, it's kind of nice having a, a smaller bathroom now that I'm missing a leg. So I'm going to make sure that everything is within reach when I get out of the shower. And then, of course, I have towels literally right here within reaching distance. Shower chair, stool, I also balance on the uh, toilet seat, clothes, towel, we're good to go. So this is my shrinker. I have it on pretty much all the time. Obviously it doesn't stay on in the shower. So I'm gonna pop that off, leave it with the rest of my clothes. Boop, that's weird looking in the viewfinder. Then, going to balance my knee on the chair. Like I said, I really hate sitting down in the shower. I did that for the first like six months after amputation. It was just kind of safer that way. But as I figured out my body a little bit more and you know how to stay balanced, all I do is just pop my knee up there and I'm pretty much balanced the entire time I'm in the shower. If I get like dizzy or weird or anything like that, if I'm not feeling good, I can always sit down, but I try to avoid that. And that's pretty much how we start. One thing I totally forgot to film or mention during this process is shaving. That has gotten extremely difficult. <laughs> Two things, first of all, I'm not supposed to shave my residual limb, which kind of grosses me out, I'll be entirely honest. I'm not supposed to like shave it at all because if you get an ingrown hair and you're wearing your prosthetic leg or a liner, it can like mean infection and death and bad, bad things, or at least like not being able to wear your leg for days at a time. So I hadn't at all, don't tell my doctor this until a couple days ago, I, I just got sick of it. I was like, you know what? I'm not wearing a prosthetic leg anyways, screw it. I'll be fine. That takes care of the one leg. I'm just not supposed to ever shave it. But my other leg, think about it for a second. You put shaving cream on your leg, right? And then you, you know, hoist it up on the side of the, the bathtub or shower or whatever. I can't do that because I'm standing on my one leg. Uh, if I'm like sitting in the shower chair, I have to like bend over and then there's like a bunch of water in my face and it's just, it's a process. It's a real process. So shaving is just not my highest priority right now. So if we're done with our shower, uh, I'm going to be very careful at this point because it's super slippery. I mean, you should be careful if you're just like a person taking a shower too, but um, I've almost slipped a couple times and ate it really hard. So usually what I do, um, there's probably a better way to do this, but this is how I make it work. I just pull this close enough to balance my knee on, make sure I keep hold of things as I pop on out. I always make sure that my residual limb is really, really dry before I try to put this back on. Try putting on a super, super tight sock when your foot is wet and you'll see how difficult 
it would be if I didn't properly dry off my residual limb, stump, nubbin, whatever you want to call it. Then from here, I always make sure that my eye walk is pretty close by, which it is, and I pop this on and we're good to go. Getting my hair and face ready for the day, I have two options. I can either stand, eye walk here, or if I don't have it close by, I'll just hike my leg up on the counter a lot. It's a good, uh, it's good stability. I don't know if it's doctor recommended, but it definitely works for me. So that is what a basic shower in a day looks like. They, uh, I take a lot more energy than it used to just because of like the balancing and like the changes and, and being really cognizant of my surroundings and um, all of that. And so I, I take one like every three days now. I try to avoid it at all costs. I use a lot of dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is my friend. So that is uh, how I take a shower. If you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them. Also, if you want to see a clothing differences video like an amputee clothing haul I get super bored in like normal clothing haul videos so don't worry it wouldn't be like those but uh kind of the differences and, and what I do now let me know I'd be happy to put that together for you guys look at this sweet baby do you see her she blends in with the couch anyways thanks for watching guys thank you to my patrons as always you guys keep the channel running you keep the lights on here you definitely help a lot so thank you I love you guys I'm thinking of you I'll see you in the next video bye guys Ooh, this is a fun angle. I forgot to say, uh, if you like this video, I'd super like it if you'd hit subscribe to this channel and like on this video. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. That's all. I'm gonna get up now. Have heard from the sky.